Hello everyone, my name is Adonis and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a love coming spread for all of my Capricorns out there. So this is a love coming spread for all of my Capricorns out there for the week of September 8th to the 14th. So without any further ado, let's jump in and see what the cards have to say. Okay, Summer Rising Venus Jupiter, Summer Rising Venus Jupiter, Summer Rising Venus Jupiter. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What kind of love is coming towards my Capricorn during the week of September 8th? 8th into the 14th. Cards I need to sleep. Oh, wow. I want to jump out so that goes first up on the deck. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Interesting. Okay, so right out the gate, the one that popped out was the Queen of Swords. Now, this Queen of Swords individual wanted to pop out there because I guess he wanted to really make a statement. All right. So this Queen of Swords individual, this is an air sign individual, an, Aquari an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. Now, the thing about Queen of Swords is that they pretty much tell it like it is, all right? They tell it like it is, but they approach it from a very logical perspective. And I call this the no BS card. So it's no bullshit here. They, they, they're pretty much telling you like it is, but they're, but they're giving it to you straight, all right? Now, this person... Um, if you haven't met them, you probably know of them, all right? They're the person that, you know, just always just shoots straight from the hip, but they keep it real. They keep it real with everybody for the most part. And this person is really looking at you as if that you could possibly be their twin flame here. So this individual is, is like, you know what? Um, this, this, this person believes that you are their twin flame. That twin flame connection here. And it looks like, you know, from what I'm feeling off these cards here, it feels like they're really serious about establishing something significant. Um, and I say that not only because I feel it, but also I see it. We got the Empress here, which means, you know, fertility, abundance, long-term uh, a relationship, long-term connect connection, material wealth, the whole nine here. So this air sign individual is a very is a very legitimate, serious um suitor here that's trying to get your attention and get your affections if they haven't already but my thoughts are my feelings are they probably have probably know of this individual because again like i said i really want to pop out and pretty much make a statement so i'm feeling you already probably know who this is so second up to that we have the king of wands here now this king of wands individual is an individual that seized the long game Okay, this is a fire sign individual, a Sagittarius, an Aries, or a Leo. Now, you know, King of Wands are very wise when it, they're very wise when they come in. They're born visionaries, so they can, like I said, they they can see the whole chessboard. So this individual is a person that is pretty much knows who all the players on on on, on of the game are here, and um, they're looking at the long view. This is a person that most likely. If you're talking to someone else, just kind of, kind of sit back and just kind of wait and see where that goes. Because again, they're playing the long game here, you know. And when that doesn't work out, then they're going to go and they're going to and they're going to approach you. All right. So, like I said, looking at the long game here. So, um, this individual, also this King of Wands individual, got Emperor energy here. So this is a very solid, grounded energy here. Very solid, grounded. Uh, down to earth individual um, that has decided to again take a leadership role and always being a leader isn't always about just coming out there you know and, 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 and prancing on a situation sometimes it's about sitting back in the cut kind of seeing how things play out waiting for the right time then you make your move that's also a leadership skill and this fire sign individual is absolutely demonstrating leadership in that form also, we got the sixth of pentacles here. So this this fire sign individual is, you know, he's looking to be generous, looking to be courteous. He's looking to pretty much spread the wealth, share the wealth around. So this is the type of person that, you know, probably wants to, uh, is going to, you know, wine you dine you, take you out, you know. Uh, kind of like, um, again, like I said, the long game. Not pretty much come on too strong, but kind of kind of kind of like you know hey let's just go out you and a couple of your friends or you know 
you know, or hey, won't you, you know, I'm, they're not going to make it seem overtly obvious that they're trying to uh, date you or that they're overtly interested. They'll let you know they're interested a lot, but, you know, they'll kind of do it in a way, it's kind of like um, a lot of thoughts put into it. Like, hey, sure, get you, bring your friends along with you or, or yeah, you know, or, or, you know, you think your parents would be interested in something like this? That type of thing. Again, looking at the big picture, okay? Spreading this wealth around strategically in order to kind of like get in, getting to the good, the good favors of everyone around you, and therefore make their move that way. All right. So that being said, we finally here. We got the King of Swords. So this is an individual that is very grounded, very solid individual. Um, a very, very strong-willed individual makes a lot of strong decisions, wise decisions when it comes to uh, making the hard, the hard choices. And this individual is looking at all of this. He's looking at the air sign individual, looking at the fire sign individual. And to be frankly honest with you, we got the ten of wands here. This individual feels like it's kind of a burden to be like, wow, you know, like, um, what's all this about? You know, this is this is kind of this is kind of bothersome. Why even here? You know, so they're kind of they're kind of bugged out a little bit about the situation. Again, um, excuse me, King of Swords is an air sign energy, so that's an Aquarius, a Gemini, a Libra energy as well, along with the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Swords here. Now, what I find interesting about this particular spread is also the final card here is the Judgment card. And that is a possible reconnect with an ex coming into the picture again. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's, it's your ex, like a person that you just broke up with, maybe not too far, not too long ago. It could be someone from um, a couple years ago, possibly, a couple months ago, a couple years ago. But this person is going to be making a, a, a reemergence in your life as well around this time around. So you got a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Um, a lot of stuff going on here, my cappies, for this month here. This is going to be a very interesting, interesting month. Excuse me, interesting week indeed. Okay? So, with that being said, let's see what kind of strengths you're going to be working with during the week of September 8th to the 14th. What kind of strengths are my cappies going to be dealing with? What kind of strengths are my Capricorns going to be dealing with? What kind of strengths are my Capricorns going to be dealing with? During the week of September 8th to the 14th, what kind of strengths are my Capricorns going to be dealing with? Show me cards I need to see, some cards I need to see. All right. Oh. Oh. Uh, that is truly interesting. So, right off the gate, we got four of wands here. So, you know, you're looking for, you know, your strengths are that, you know, you're looking for a very solid long-term commitment okay something solid uh something that's going to be based on something now you've put a couple of things out there you got you go put a couple fillers out there to see you know what of quality pops up to you okay got seven of pentacles and this pretty much demonstrates what you got going on again these are all your strengths so basically this seven of pentacles basically you just kind of got you're being patient you're waiting to see what's going to happen now we got the Ace of Swords energy here, which says that you've done this with a pretty clear head. Um, this is removage of mental blockages and things of that nature. So you're very clear-headed about what you're doing, um, especially in, 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 in terms of finding someone that's quality. And here is why. We got the Three of Swords here. So... You were in a third-party situation, and you came out on the wrong end of that. Okay, um, it was it, it was it was a really a, a really fucked up situation. Part of my French here, really fucked up situation, and it, it was so so much that you are the one. You got the eight of cups here. You walked away from the situation because it was like it was a heartbreaking situation. So that's why this ace of swords is so important. That you approach this thing with a sense of mental clarity. And that's why you're being patient. You're not looking to rush into anything. You're looking to kind of take your time. You're looking to take your time with the situation. Because the devil card. Very toxic. 
very very it was it was, it was a toxic relationship over the toxic a toxic excuse me situation um um again toxicity could have been like some kind of substance abuse or something like that or it could just been that the overall situation in and of itself was a very toxic situation to be in okay and you had to walk away from this situation because it was doing a lot more damage to you uh it, 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 did, it did more damage to you than you were willing to take so you had to walk away from the situation to pretty much save yourself um in addition here we have the we got the seven of cups so you got a lot of different options you have other options here as with the seven of pentacles as i said you put some things out there you're waiting to see what type of things bear fruit but you're being patient and you do realize because of what you've been through um with this with the toxic relationship here that you have a seventh uh a seven of uh, a cup because you have other options here okay as well now we also we got the high priestess which means that there was a lot of you know something was hidden uh you know the, 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 you, you know you, your your intuition is really popping here and that's pretty much probably how you picked up on what you picked up on um, on before you kind of had the inkling that something was wrong before you actually kind of saw it or felt it and um, um, before you saw it rather and so you kind of had you know you, you, your intuition was kind of buzzing like this, this something's not quite right here so there you go with that finally we got the king of pentacles so you are you're solid in your finances you go with your finances you make wise decisions when it comes to expenses and you're really grounded and down to earth so you know you 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 run the full gambit, and you know you're you're no worse for wear because of it. You know you you've built a sense of okay, you're you're patient. Um, you're willing to wait for until you find a, 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 a someone that suits what you're looking for. And there are a lot of options out there, and you're and you're good with your finances. So you know you're not going to be hooking up with anybody just because they got money, so to speak. You got your own money. You got you know you're not trying to use anybody or anything like that. So that's where you are right here. So let's see what type of things. Although, and, and I must say, um, I dare say, and, and, and I'm not feeling like that's the case here, but also I, 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 you've got the judgment card again about the reconnecting with the possible lax here. Um, I really want to hope and pray that, uh, you know, this is not the ex that we're talking about here that was in this toxic situation and this individual is one of these choices because um again this won't resonate with everybody but if you're one of these individuals that this resonates with and we got the judgment card here as far as connecting with an ex i'm telling you right now one of your strengths that you know you've been through the gambit learn through for those experience leopard doesn't change their spots something very tragic drastic had to happen a lot of times before people become untoxic. So I'm just kind of putting that out there. If this individual is toxic and you're one of the individuals that kind of got out the situation, kind of refound yourself, and now you're like, well, you're having second thoughts about it, do yourself a favor and don't. All right? So with that being said, let me see what type of thing from your past that could possibly uh, shake things up here. What from your past could possibly change the outcome of this situation? What from your past could possibly change the outcome of this situation for you? Some cards I need to see, some cards I need to see. Okay, so. Seven of Cups. Again, I said you have a lot of options here. If for some reason there were to be limited options here for you, um, that would be something that you would not be interested in. It would not be good for you. In addition here, we have the Temperance card. And as you could tell from the bad relationship we just described, there obviously was not an equal give and take and that's definitely something that you're looking for an equal give and take you give a lot so you want a lot in return there's nothing wrong with that finally we have the magician card here being able to manifest the reality that you want now in regards to this situation here as far as the magician goes being able to manifest the reality that you want um you are Begin. You're being patient, but you're beginning to manifest what you want. You know what you want, but you're beginning to manifest it. Okay. Now, um, if anything were to come into your purview to stop you from being able to manifest that, that would be a deal breaker, perhaps, maybe. 
But again, I'm seeing, I'm feeling a little bit of waffling energy here with this whole X situation. So I really want to stress again, um, that is not a good place for you to go back to. All right. So with that being said, is there any additional information spirits want to bestow uh, upon you before I shut this thing down? Is there any additional information spirits want to bestow upon you before I shut this thing down? Some cards I need to see. Some cards I need to see. What additional information do you want to give my cappy before I shut this thing down? Some cards I need to see. Okay, here we go. Outstanding information. Outstanding information. So, right off the bat here, productivity. Continue to be productive in your own right. Continue to move forward. You Again, you we went through a bad situation. And now the healing has begun. You 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 have patience. You know uh, um, you're moving forward. A sense of mental clarity. Continue to be productive in your life. Bring people in your circle, in your orbit, that are productive. They don't necessarily have to be um, uh, a potential a, a potential mate that you're looking for. It could just be people that that have good, genuine people um, that can bring. Uh, uh, elevate your level, your, your level of play here, so to speak. They could be friends, you know, productive. Uh, get, get, you know, get, getting friendships that are productive, adding to the quality of your life. Um, being productive in your own right. Continue to be productive in your thoughts and your deeds and in, in what you do. Your money. You're very good with your finances. Continue to be productive in that sort. So that sort of thing. Also, bang, rediscover. Rediscovery. Rediscover who you are. Like I said, sometimes a relationship, we're one way, we go through a bad relationship, it fucks us all up, and we got to recalibrate everything we thought we knew and who we thought we are. Look, here's the deal. Rediscover who you are. Where, Who is the real you? Will the real you please stand up? That sort of thing. That's why I said, and I want to enter, I want to restress this again. Um, there's an energy of you possibly slipping back to your ex. If you are these individuals that this resonates with, do yourself a favor. Do not do it. Rediscover who you are. Um, find your true self so you can take back your power. All right? And finally, balance. Balance yourself. Things are kind of out of balance. But you're, you know, you're, you're, you're heading towards that. Healing energy there. You're you're getting there. You're 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 balancing yourself out. It's gonna take a little bit, but you are beginning to kind of move back in that direction, and that's good to see. So, with that being said, I'm gonna shut this thing down. Um, if you haven't already, please like, please share, please subscribe. Um, this is general love reading. If this resonated with you and you want to know a little bit more, please feel free to get a personal reading so I can dig a little bit more to your particular situation. If it if it uh, if it didn't. Uh, resonate with you, please also feel free to get a personal reading. I'll leave the links below so that you can, um, I can do a little bit of digging for you and find out what's going on with your particular situation. Again, my name is Adonis. Love you guys so much. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.